It's the little ones you have to watch out for. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Gary here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Wei Jiang Blue Iron for Small Steel Cap. Yes, that's what they called him. That's... That's what they call them. But here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. And you can see some pretty bare bones basic packaging here. Just a black box right there. You got Squeak's face, blue iron for a small steel cap. You know, you guys are always complaining about how they don't come up with uh, interesting names for these third party toys. So, um,. I blame you. I blame you for this. But yes, yeah, blue iron for small steel cap. Model series. Myrtle on the side of the box. Blue iron for a small steel cap. It's a, my box got a little bit mangled in transit, unfortunately. Metal, blue iron, small steel cap. Same thing on the back side as well. It has a little magnetic flap here. Open it up. And the figure itself is contained in some nice foamage. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Blue Iron for Small Steel Cap, a.k.a. The Last Night Squeaks. Yes, our buddy Squeaks, our friend Squeaks, our buddy, our pal, our compadre, if you will. Our little buddy Squeaks. But um, here he is in his alt mode. He's a little scooter. Um, now, Squeaks did not transform in the movie, so we never saw his alt mode. If he has an alt mode, um, I don't know if there's concept art of it anywhere. I don't know. Not that I've seen anyway. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. But here he is in his scooter mode. It looks pretty good for what it is. And let's get in close here. So we can take a look at the details. You got the uh, big old headlight right up front. You can see it's kind of broken in there. Lots of silver on this figure as well. You can see it does have all the little uh, rust spots and whatnot. Some little worn, corroded bits here and there, which definitely looks a lot better than the uh, original Deluxe that just looked like it was just smeared in poo. Um, this still looks kind of poo-like, but definitely looks more like rust than on the original toy. But nicely done. A little bit of silvering, you get the silver trim throughout. A little bit of black wash too, which is nice. Picks up some of those details. You can see the wheels there. You got some nice details going on in there as well. Got the handlebars. Nice seats. Again, you got some nice rust spots going on there. Guess me. Guess me. Again, got some more rusted out parts there. Just kind of corroded away. Got some holes going on there also. You can see that whole rear tire assembly there. Got some stuff going on here. That's more for robot mode, but hey. Oh no, looks pretty nice. This is the, uh, the stand for him. That store is right there. Oh no, not too shabby. Um, now, the wheels, the, the tires are rubber. Um, the front wheel does roll actually pretty smoothly and freely, but the back wheel does not really roll that smoothly at all. So he doesn't really roll as rolling things should. He's really more sliding than anything. But hey, hey. So there you have that. Now for comparison, uh, here he is with the Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee. So you can get a sense of how Squeak here scales with the MPM series, and yeah, he's 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 pretty big. He, he's he, 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 yeah, that doesn't quite work, but hey, you know, scale. What does it matter? You know. And here he is with the original last night deluxe squeaks. You can see how that works out. So there you go. Now, as far as uh, you know, articulation goes, you know, the handlebars you can kind of move forward and back there on the hands move them up and down so you can kind of you know position those however you want uh the front wheel does actually turn a bit from side to side you can also tilt like that if you want to hey right? it's a thing it can do if you want to do it so you know hey things that move if you need them to move um as far as you know what can ride on squeaks uh you know i got you know oh legends wheelie here uh pretty much anything this size i think can ride this, you know, comfortably. Um, anything bigger than this is kind of too big. Anything smaller just looks kind of ridiculous. This is, I think, pretty much the best you can do and have it look okay. Have it look serviceable, you know? that's I think that's pretty much roundabouts the size figure you would need to, uh, to ride on a wheelie and make it look like it makes some kind of sense, you know, something like that. So, there you go.
Now, as far as accessories go, he does have a couple that are already stored on his vehicle mode itself, but he does also come with this nice little display base here. Let's take a close look at this. You can see a nice rocky display base. Really nice paintwork. Looks really cool. Really nicely done. Very nice. Very, very nice. And if you want, you can take squeaks and just, you know, plop them down right there. Have that look going on. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But that is uh, basically it for the alt mode. I think it's a quite nice looking alt mode. I think they did a good job with this personally. I think they did a good job. But there you have that. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Little buddy. Our little buddy squeaks. Our little pal. Our little friend squeaks. Anyways, let's get down to transformation. So first thing you want to do is you want to come down here. You want to unplug this bit right here from the side of the wheel. Just unplug that and fold that down. Get that out of the way. And then we're going to take this whole section here and this will slide off and this will become one of his robot mode accessories and we'll put that off to the side and we can pull out the stand here and this which is in pretty good give it a little wiggle 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 and that'll pop out and you can see it just slides over this uh, t-tab right here just goes in right right through there if you can see it so we just put that off to the side and we can continue so we're just going to unpeg this here if it hasn't done so already Bring all this out. You can take this whole section here and just kind of straighten all that out. Get that out of your way, like so. And then we can just kind of take the arms and just bring them out, straighten them everything out. And then like so, we can rotate these up again just to kind of get things out of the way for us. Like that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take these sections and we're going to rotate them up, rotate them up. So they're sitting like that. This section right here kind of just swing over to the side like so. We can actually swing this more out so we have clearance for one of the following steps here. So this little assembly here is just going to, if the camera will focus, there we go. It's just going to fold in like that. And then this will fold in. Actually, before we do all this, we need to get this wheel out of the way. So we're going to just, actually, no, we're leaving that there. I'm doing things all out of order. My bad, my bad. No, all right, all right. So <laughs> got the arm, just move the arm forward here, get that out of the way, and just bring all this down like so. You have to do a little bit of flexing because this does kind of get in the way here. There we go. Just get that around like so. And this will come up, and there we go. We're doing things in the right order. I was right. I was okay. Okay, I just, I just, sometimes I confuse myself. It happens. And then we just rotate this down. You can see there's a little notch, this little tab right in there. So that just sits, boop, right in there, like so. And this little bit right here, per the instructions, I guess it's supposed to be like flipped back or whatever. It's on a hinge. You can kind of angle that however you want. And we are on our way here. So we can just kind of finish bringing these little arms up. Just bring them down, just bring those up, bring them down, there we go. So now, we're going to take this front wheel here, this little assembly, this little tab, just comes in right there, just untab that, and just bring that out like so. This is on a slider, as you can see, so you just want to slide this up, and then bring it back like that, and then the wheel We'll just come up on this hinge, like so, and that's how you want that sitting. So then we just come to this headlight section here, and the well, first thing we want to do is bring these bits up. It helps bring these up, and then you just take this and split it, and this will become his eyes. And you do want to make sure that this uh, this section here with the arm kind of comes back, so you have the clearance for this to come all the way out as far as it needs to go like that this chest piece here just rotates around like that and this section here is on double hinge just kind of bring that back and just kind of set that back like so you see you guys goofy little eyes going on there <laughs> uh, squeaks anyway <laughs> so again we want you want this assembly here with his arm just sitting a little bit back, so you see that, that bit there just has some clearance there for everything to come out the way it's supposed to. 
Let's bring these up. This one on mine, this side is a little bit loose. You can see so it doesn't want to flop, it wants to flop down a little bit. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's okay. But now we'll come down or come back to this section here. You want to take these side bits here. They're on sliders. You just want to bring them out like so. And then there are pegs on either side. Just going to plug in there and plug in there. Then you take these side sections here, rotate them around like that. Second verse, same as the first. Just pull that out like so. And that'll peg in there. That'll peg in right there. We'll rotate this bit around. Yep. 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 There we go, like that. Now we take the seats and just flip all this around like that. And then we just collapse all this down onto his head. Yeah, a little tab right there that'll go right, right in there. Just bring that down and just tab that in. Bring that down, like so. And you need the stand because without the stand, he will not stand on his own. It just, it, that don't work. That just, that just don't work. So we do need this little clear stand here. And this just, bring this back. There we go. And this just plugs right over this whole section here. Plug it on like that. Plug it in, plug it in. Like so. And that's how you want that sitting right there. There you go. Now you can stand just fine. And there you go. There you have Squeaks, our buddy, our pal, our friend. There we have Squeaks in his robot mode. And that looks quite good in my opinion. Our good friend, our good buddy Squeaks. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's cute. He's just cute. That's getting close there. So we can take a look at that face of his. You can see both of his eyes. And those broken, <laughs> those broken spots in there. Oh, you got some nice silver there. Again, you got some nice silver, a bit of black outlining in there, which looks quite nice. Uh, the side view mirror is supposed to kind of stick out the side. I always tuck it up like that, me personally, but, you know, you, your toy do what you want, but I guess for accuracy it should be sticking out, but, you know. Again, your toy, do what you wish with it. So you got some nice little bits here sticking out the sides. There's a little handlebar hands. You know, handlebar hands. Oops, I have his arms turned around the other way. There we go, like that. There we go. There's his elbow. Yeah, but all in all, pretty nicely done. And move it at the back. You can see he has a little backpack there. Got some tools. There's a big old helmet. <laughs> but all in all, I like this little guy. I really like him. Now, articulation-wise, on the head, can rotate just a little bit. You just get a little bit. A little bit of side-to-side -side movement. Not a whole lot. Again, this side is kind of loose. This is one reason why I kind of tuck this up, because then the side view mirror kind of holds this up. And, yeah, probably just my copy, but... Anyway, yeah, you can see, you know, you get a little bit of head rotation from side to side. Um, your shoulders are on a ball joint, so the arms can do a full... 360 if they don't bump into stuff and yeah, do a full 360 they also have a hinge that can allow the shoulders to move forward fold this is where my tongue stops working allow the shoulders to move forward and back so i was trying to say before my brain shut off you do have bicep rotation you do have an elbow joint with 90 degrees of bend uh, as far as his uh, his feet um this can move in and out and can rotate and that's pretty much it this one is pretty much just kind of locked in place there but so there you have our little buddy, our little pal Squeaks. And now we can bring in this uh, this rear tire here. And what you can do is we can extend this like so. And this now becomes his arm cannon here. You can see, nicely done silver. Got some old like, spots of like wear and tear going on there. Quite nicely detailed. And how this works is you can see, uh, where, is, where is it? You can see it right here. You want it orient oriented like this. We have this little this little divot on the bottom because that's where 
this is going to go. So this just slides in just like that. It just slides on, it holds on very securely, and there you go. You guys, big cannons, so we can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, as squeaks cans do. So there you have that. And we can bring in the display base. And you can plug them on here. You can see they have this little section here that's uh, molded just like the stand itself. So you can see exactly how it's supposed to plug on. And you just drop them right down on top of that. And there you have Squeaks on his little display base. And that looks quite cool as well. That's a nice little display option right there. And as always, options are what? They're good. But let's put this back off to the side for now. So there you have that. And now for Camp Arras. Here he is with the masterpiece movie Bumblebee. As you can see how that works out. How does it scale with Siege? Here's how it scales with Siege. Here he is with the unique toys. Prime. He's large. He's quite large. There you go. Here he is with the Weijang Studio Series Prime. So you can see how that works. And pretty much all the Weijang Primes are the same height, so it's going to be the same thing regardless. And coming back down to ground level, here he is with the original Deluxe. Last night. Squeaks! So, there you go. So there you have Squeaks, our buddy, our pal, our friend, our compatriot, our compadre. I can't keep not saying it. Es mi amigo Squeaks! I es mi amigo Squeaks! My God, I was holding that in like a fart. It felt so good to finally get that out. Oh. Anyway, there's, there's squeaks. There's squeaks. Um, all in all, it's, um, it's a very nicely done figure here by Wei Zhang. I really do like it. Love the detail. Love the alt mode. Love the robot mode. The robot mode was really nice. Really, you know, as close to screen accurate as I could get. Um, it's really cool, really nicely done. The only issue I have with mine is just this little loose face piece. But other than that, no real issues with the figure. Everything does work as it should. And uh, yeah, looks good quality wise. Everything feels good, feels solid. Like I said, just that one little loose part, but that could just be my copy. But all in all though, really, really nice, solid figure here from Wei Zhang. So there you go. Now I picked him up from Show Z Store. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Wei Zhang Blue Iron First Small Steel Cap. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Boom in your face. Hey there, Bumblebee, uh, who's this little guy? What? No, 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 you can't have a sidekick. You're the sidekick. The sidekick can't have a sidekick. That's not how this works. That is not my fault, okay? I don't make the rules. Just, just, just find somewhere to send him. What are you doing, you little? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs>